Hey pinball fans, welcome back to my series on repairing a Bally pinball MPU board. Hopefully you completed the last video on installing the components. The next video is going to go through powering on and testing the board. We'll start off by inserting the IC chips and then we'll power up the board. I powered up my board with a home built power supply but you can certainly use the power connectors inside the back box of your pinball machine. Let's get started. This is the testing phase. First of all, make sure you are protected from ESD by wearing your wrist strap. Perform a continuity check on all of the connections on the U8 socket. This is very important as this is where most soldering errors occur. Using an ohmmeter, test from each connection to another location in the area close to the socket in which you can view a physical connection. Now let's start installing the ICs. Press the IC firmly into the socket until the chips are fully seated, being very careful not to bend any pins. To test the board we need power. I have made a power source by using an old computer power supply. If this is not available, you will need to use power from the back box on your pinball machine. Apply power and watch for a sequence of LED flashes. In this case, the light comes on steady when power is applied. This is not a good sign. Turn the power off. Let's start by removing the ICs we just installed, but leave U6, U9, and U11 plugged in. Okay, with power applied, the light is on steady again. Let's try replacing U6 in this instance. We have our new U6 in place, and we now get a flicker of the LED with power applied. We are expecting to see a flicker and then seven flashes of the LED. Install the rest of the ICs again now that we have the first flicker. Now that we have the chips back in, let's apply power. One, two, three, four, five, six. We now have six flashes. We only have six flashes because our power supply isn't supplying 43 volts DC to J4. In order to get around this with a benchtop power supply, I have modified my power supply and will add a connection to the upper side of C1, which will allow me to verify the seventh flash. If you are using power from your pinball machine, you will not have to bother with this. Okay, the connection is made. There is our flicker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven flashes. We now have a board that has passed self test. Thanks for watching part six of the Bally Pinball MP repair videos. Hopefully, Everything worked out okay for you and you got your seven flashes of the LED and you can put your board in your pinball machine and give it a try unless you need to update the EEPROMs. The next video will cover jumper settings where we uninstall the chips and upgrade the jumpers so they'll work with 2732 EEPROMs. Once again thanks and please share and like my video. Have a great day.